Greetings, my dear beloved children. Today we'll address a completely different subject. We'll speak about your ability to detect the packages of energy information, signals, guidance, which the forces of light send you for help in this very crucial period, when your consciousness, your chakras, all your bodies, shift into the new system of time and space energy parameters. A huge amount of help is coming to you, but very few people can utilize it only those who have completely opened the channels of communication with the subtle world. But even these people are not able to discern their interlocutors, who are more often happen to be the astral beings. You have been given dozens of messages and practices on the subject of identification of the imposters, but still people are hooked again and again upon the beautiful and correct words, special names, and sweet promises. More often your inertia is to blame, your habit to trust a person, who have received the true messages before, but later on due to circumstances or personal qualities is not capable to accept information from the forces of light anymore, being unable to reach them according to his vibrations. As a rule, you don't apply the practices I have given to you for such people, because you assume they are untouchable. And your child's trust plays a cruel joke with you, because through such messages not only the astral beings could enter into your energy spheres, but sometimes also the dark beings, who block your abilities. That's precisely how the constant fight between the forces of light and darkness proceeds for the soul of each awakened being. Please help dear ones, the forces of light to reach out to you. Be cautious. Do not allow the astral trash, which have already polluted the internet with its messages, to contaminate your subtle bodies and your consciousness with the programs of the dark forces, which they try to install there with great stubbornness and persistence. And now I'll give you another divine instrument. It will protect you from making mistakes and become that safety belt which will help you to swim to the shore from the ocean of duality which still holds you in its power. Let's call this practice the double test. And that's what it means. Every time before reading a new material, even if it's your favorite source, call on your higher self and send it for an exploration. Ask it to determine if there is any hidden danger, if an information is for your benefit. And then bring your hands together against your heart chakra your crystal of love, call on the energy of the Creator. Keep your hands lightly. They must touch each other only at the base of the palms and with the tips of the fingers so you would feel my energy in your hands to the maximum. In time, your hands will be filled with warmth. You may feel in them light vibrations and prickling sensations. And when these sensations would reach their top, Put one of your palms the one that would seem energetically stronger, above the text, which you are going to read. Then ask your hand to give you a sign if it's worth for you to read or not. If yes, then you would feel a slight movement of your hand forward and back, like your head nods when saying yes. If it's not good for you to read this text, then your hand would move from side to side as your head is moving when saying no in such a way you'll get a double test mine and from your own soul. And let it be the first stop on the path of gaining trust in yourself and in your ability to communicate with the subtle world. In this instance, you won't be able to make a mistake because you'll stay in the flow of my energy, which means under my protection. Your Father Absolute, who loves you without measure, has spoken with you.